I'm Nick Bond, and I'm the climatologist for the state of Washington. It looks like the winter of 2018-2019 is going to be a weak to moderate El Nino. El Nino and La Nina is a big deal because it impacts our winter weather. And in particular, there tends to be less snow in the mountains during El Nino winters and more snow than usual during La Nina winters. El Nino is when the tropical Pacific is warmer than normal, uh, right in a thin strip along the equator. And uh, what happens as a result is there's a kind of shift in these large clusters of thunderstorms, and that has a ripple effect on the atmospheric circulation over much of the globe, including our neck of the woods. And so what we tend to get during uh, El Nino winters is warmer temperatures than normal, particularly after the first of the year. El Ninos aren't all bad. And in particular, early on in the winter, there can be some um, good conditions, some, uh, some healthy snows. One thing we do see is there is a tendency for less snowpack than usual at the end of an El Nino winter. That means at uh, certain elevations, you know, maybe a little bit more rain versus snow than usual. It turns out that the El Ninos and La Ninas, we do have some predictability of those out um, six months or even longer. We can generally have uh, quite a bit of skill at um, uh, predicting those events.